Good day to you everyone, you welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Atere Ayodeji. In today's video, I will be telling you um, a very important something, very, very important thing. Whenever you get your visa, please be careful of what you help people to carry to um, abroad or to any destination. So we have a very um, important story to share, a very scenario that happened just of recent. As you all know, I, I always, uh, I make Dubai, Bahrain, Oman, um, Mauritius visa for people. There was one particular visa that we made for a guy. And that guy used to be my very client. And that guy has a brother in uh, Oman. That brother now called this guy to help him to carry some um, little substances from home down to Oman. Not knowing that that substances contains some drugs elements, which is cocaine or whatever, and that guy never knew. He innocently took those substances alongside with his luggage. Then, after he, he successfully boarded here in Nigeria, when he now got to Ethiopia, that was when they discovered the substances he carried contained some drugs, some cocaine, or whatever. And the immigration in Ethiopia now alerted people, the immigration in Oman. You know, any, and you know, Arabs, they hate anything like drug illicit. They don't like it at all. So when this guy landed in Oman, he was apprehended. So they checked the substances he was carrying, that it, it was containing some uh, kind of element that could be very, very dangerous to their country. That is, um, that, that there are drugs element in what he was carrying along. So this was very, very embarrassing. This guy was arrested and now is in the custody of Omani police. So, so that's why I'm, I used to tell my clients, whenever you are carrying something for anybody, please try and verify whatever you are carrying for people and do not trust people again. This is a new era. Anybody can be implicated. And you know anything Arab or Gulf countries, they don't joke with drugs. I had another issue, another case. I have a friend, a very good friend of mine, who was caught with um, Indian Ham in Kong, Indian Ham in, in Dubai. The, immediately they caught him, they found the bag of Indian Ham with him because uh, they, they tagged him as a seller. Immediately they caught him, he was prosecuted. There's nothing like bribe in all these Arab countries. You cannot bribe them. The, the Arab world is not Nigeria, it's not Africa that you can bribe the police. So they are very, very comfortable. So they arrested him. He was sentenced to 23 years in jail. The guy is still right there in jail in Dubai. So it is very, very unfortunate for people to be doing that kind of illicit or illegal act. So whatever you are carrying anything for anybody, you, at the airport or anywhere, you have to just verify whatever you are carrying and make sure you trust the person you are carrying something for. So I still vividly remember when we were still in, when we were still doing, uh, when we were still carrying people to Dubai via um, this country, via Benin Republic. Yeah, a guy gave us uh, some documents, some some uh, some luggage. He said we should help him to deliver it to people over there in Dubai. Then we now we we, we decided to scatter those things because anybody that give give me luggage, I I must verify it. We now find out that this guy now hides some um, drugs in their hand inside those luggage. It was very very hidden, and you know this will be very very implicating if eventually they find out anyone that is carrying for him that is straight to jail. Yes, so anybody you are trying to move abroad, please be very, very careful of anything you carry for people. So we have, a, we have a whole lot of series of experiences, people helping people, and at, the end, and at the end of the whole show, they get into trouble. So in today's video, what we need to learn is, whenever you are carrying things for people to, to, to other part of the world, try and verify those things. Try and verify them, make sure they are not, uh, those documents or those luggage are not with anything like 
drugs. So I will advise you to do that. So and never forgetting, we are still doing Oman. Oman two years uh, residential visa work permit is still very, very available and fast. Presently, we still need to submit some documents. We have my, my clients, some of my clients just landed today, and um, Kazakhstan is still going on. Egypt, I have a girl flying to Egypt today. <laughs> if possible, I might try to post a picture here. We met right here on this platform, and thank God she she we, she we, she got into my account dm she dm me and she got her visa and her ticket everything she is flying today so that is that about today's video i'm going to make another video some other time thank you very much and if you really want to if you need visa to all these gulf countries right now you just have to call my number on 0067346645 0067346645 Six seven three four six six four five. WhatsApp me or DM me. Remember, if you are not ready to make visa, please do not call me. Call me only when you are ready, please. So that is that for today's video. And never forgetting, we are still doing Mauritius, Mauritius studies and work. Um, Oman, two years residential visa is going. We have Kazakhstan business and tourist visa, and we also have Egypt e visa. So which is super cheap and. Um, I, I, let's not forget before I go, I will need to remind you guys that we need a panabita. If you know you are a panabita, you can panabit. You are very good at that. It's an it's a good opportunity for you. This one is straight to work. This is a ticket and the salary is 300 k If you know anybody, if you know anyone who is a panabita, you can just DM me. DM me on 0067346645. 0067346645. Thank you very much. God bless you. See you some other time. Bye for now.